Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Um, I'm back from another short vacation. Feels good to be back. It's been about a week. Um, today I'm going to do my favorite pour, uh, a traveling open cut pour on this 16 by 20 inch canvas. I have my base coat down, which is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White with about a tablespoon of the Liquitex Basics Unbleached Titanium mixed with that. And let's go over, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my little uh, open cup that I made and I'm going to set it down here and I'll go over the paints as I use them. Today, everything is mixed with the mix, seven parts mix, one part paint. And I did thin with a little bit of water, not much, just a little bit. So what you see here is I'm putting a little bit of paint inside my cup and around it to get it moving a little bit. And as I put my paints in, I will tell you what paints I'm using. The first paint is uh, Amsterdam Paints Gray and Prussian Blue mixed together, a nice dark color. So let's put that in our, in our cup here. My next color is a, a, a paint I made up called Mysterious. It is a combination of four different paints, and I will list that in the description. And my next paint is Folk Art Color Shift Aqua Flash. Going to get some flash in that. painting today. My next paint is the Modern Masters Ferro Gold. My next paint is Folk Art Treasure Gold Fire Opal. This is a new paint I just purchased. Kind of excited to use it. And the last paint I'm using is Blix Cadmium Red. I just did purchase these Lowly Veffy bottles. And I thought they would really come in handy today. And I will help my paint along. I, I like to twirl it like this. Hope you can see that. No particular order putting the paints in. And I do have quite a bit of paint in that cup. And I'm going to help it move again. No silicone used today. Like I said, just the mix. And I decided to use that um, un unbleached titanium because I did it. I didn't want to just use white. I wanted something a little bit softer on the eye. So I thought that unbleached titanium mixed with that Lucatex or with the uh, Artist Law Flow Acrylic White would be the ticket for that one. Hope you're all doing well today. Kind of a rainy day here. Good, good day to paint. Now I'm just going to tip my canvas just a little bit here to help that paint out. Okay, 
put some more paint in there. And I think I will add a little bit more of my base coat here just to help it move. Just a little bit more here at the end. I do want to run that paint right off the end of the painting here. Move my paints out of the way here quick. And I'm going to give it a quick torch before I start tipping. And I am hoping to get some negative space here today. We'll see how that goes. Okay, let's do a little tipping here. And I hope that I can keep you in frame. So you do get to see most of this. I really do like what's going on in this area here. I think I'll just tip that down a little bit. And over. And I'll tip some of this off and bring it back. And I'm going to tip this down. over to this edge a little more. Okay, I'm liking that so far. Now I'm going to tip this. I think I'm going to add a little more paint here to see if it helps the paint move a little better, move a little faster.
tip it this way first and then that way. Okay, I'm really, really liking this. You can really tell the mix is allowing the, all the different layers to, the transparency of the layers are showing through. <clears throat> Hopefully you'll see, you're seeing some of that. Just doing a little stretching here yet. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at it now. See what I do like and what I don't like. I really do like this area here. Very pretty. I'm going to give it another torch. Looks like I have a few things that don't belong in here. And I'm going to take those out right away. I use tweezers. Looks like a little blob of paint here. Right here. And right here. Okay. I think I'm going to run my skewer through this here. enhance it a little bit and possibly through here just breaking that up a little bit there and I'm going to give this a few little wispies here I am really, really liking this. And I'm gonna clean off the bottom of my canvas here. It's important that you do that so the paint doesn't get pulled down that's on the canvas. Pull this over here a minute. I'm just going to take another look at it here for composition. I just, I just really think this is beautiful. Add a little paint in the corner here. Give it one more torch and then I'm going to get you down for a close up. Okay. And I think composition wise, I would, I do like it this way. It's 
So that is the way I want to show it to you. I'm going to add a little paint here, just a little bit of the base coat. Okay, let's get you down for a close up. You can tell me what you think. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close up. Again, this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas and it's an open cup traveling. It's a traveling open cup pour. And here is the upper left hand corner. Again, you can see how the mix just allowed that cloudy effect there. I did get some cells. This is one of my favorite spots right in here. You can see just the transparency of all those layers coming through. So pretty. And then we're going down the left hand side here. And I did leave negative space. This is the lower left hand corner. And I'm going to take you up the whole painting here because I think it's just so nice. Again, I did get some cells. Colors blended very well there. And I will have to show this in a future video after it's dry to see how that flash worked, the aqua flash. And some more interesting cells here. And I'll take you all the way over now to the bottom right corner. And here is some of my favorite areas in here. Just really, really nice. In here. And again, some negative space coming up to the upper right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so to help my channel grow. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.